I'm Andrew Lysium, and we're back in European Results 4. Brandon Butter, Germany, Germany to World. Now, we are getting fairly close in the timeline. The end of the timeline is 1821. So we do have less than 100 years. I did not notice that Glacier had become independent. Ah, Vassal Castile, that's a shame. Okay. Oh, Rock is doing fairly well. Okay, so we're going to go on Riga. However, I noticed one thing. If you hit Declare War, Castile is a descendant of the Catholic faith. Are you still allied with Castile? God damn it, no. <sighs> Otherwise, we could have attacked the island, uh, the Irish provinces, and got them as a vassal, then used them to attack Britain. And it'd be, it would be lovely. But sadly, it's not going to happen. Ooh. Hi, Flanders. Do you feel, are you feeling a little bit alone there? I would. You would be my vassal, though. We are currently a bit over our uh, diplomatic level. We have Munster Utrecht as our vassals. And we also have Hess. So, I think we should just do a quick roundup of these guys and just make sure that they are all, you know, hunky-dory. By the way, you might notice something, something very important. Yeah, they're uh, a little bit busy. Why is this so big? Usually, this stops at about here, which is um, one of these things, okay, one of my things is UX and UI, user interface, user experience, and it kind of bugs me, and it bugged me when I came to Paradox Grand Strategy Games, EU4 in particular, at the beginning, and then there was like, this bit here, just, it stopped here, and I was like, but there's plenty more on my screen, why do you not fit the screen? And I found a mod. Better diplomacy, and I believe there is also better peace conditions, or better, better suing for peace, I can't remember what it's called. Both of them extend the thing from being cut off here to going all the way down, so you can see all your options. Well, you can see most of your options if I open them all up. We will, unfortunately, not get to see all of them. But you can see a lot more. The point is you can get that on, you know, you know, two times the length rather than five times the length, whatever. Absolutely adorable. Love this mod. It's on Steam. Get it. It's core. It's necessary. There is no reason not to. It's amazing. Just get it. Other than that, well, we're going to go on Riga. Castile might get involved if they actually end up defending because they're the bigger country. That'll be annoying because I actually just want to be able to peace out Riga. But we'll also get uh, Russia involved, I think. And if Castile does get involved, we might end up going on these. But I'm, I'm just hoping that Castilian uh, Francis don't get too annoying. Hmm. Okay. Yes, Russia, you look very sexy. Right. Diplomacy. Ooh, ideas. Wait, what can we get for ideas? We can get... Interest decrease. Meh. Tons of the truth, eighth. Meh. How much would that cost us? Yeah, we'd have a we'd have a lump left. We have some left. We're not gonna be taking promises, so we don't need to core. So we can grab that now. Unfortunately still behind time, but that's fine. Right. Diplomacy. Declare war. Cleansing of heresy, Casus Belli. Castile is the defender of the faith. It's not the best one. I'll be honest, uh, it's it's okay. I mean, we get, you know, 75% aggressive expansion, which I think is the important part. 200% prestige is particularly nice. I guess that's one of the things that actually makes uh, going down... Going down the, uh, what are they called? The idea branch is kind of good, is that these Casas Bellas, they aren't just different ways of declaring war. Well, they are, but they're different ways that actually have a purpose, because they actually provide things like, you know, the aggressive expansion into decreased here, which uh, is particularly nice. So, otherwise I wouldn't be that bothered. Let's declare the war. And immediately I want to jump on their capital. Castile, did you join in? Yep, Castile has joined in. So, well, what are we expecting from Castile? Well, they might send ships. Um, if they actually come for our border, we've got infantry in the way. I feel particularly good about that. Let's go. Ah, 
Battle of Riga, we won instantly. And... Go, come on. It got cancelled because the ship moved in front of it. New stability or gain inflation? Um, I'll gain inflation. I believe we are still decreasing inflation over time, are we? Yeah. Wow, it's really high, actually. I could do with the admin points to dump that. Holland's cancelled military access. That's fine. Ah, Let's get ourselves a general. There we go. Johann Leopold Schiller. Colonial Ventures, invest in the Navy, abandon the idea of naval supremacy. Yep, invest in the Navy. It's fine by me. We do need to catch back up in that Navy technology. We're a little bit uh, a little bit behind. Yeah, let's make you a vassal as well. Improve relations. Oh. Gubby Gubby's become self sustaining. Excellent. Fine, fine, fine. They've all cancelled military access. Now I'm kind of wondering, now we've kind of completed all our goals, what do we do with this LP? Like, the end of the timeline isn't that far away, so we could just move towards the end of the timeline, but I, I do feel that we've got all the things we want to do. So, we need a new goal, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe getting a toehold in Britain itself, in, in the core landmass of Great Britain, might be useful. From the Siege of Ossel. That's nice. And the Gulf of Riga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Venice, will you acquiesce to my request to be my bitch? No. Okay. And we could invest in that, but we're not going to. Because... Actually, is that military it's asking for? Yeah, it is. Uh, Navy Force and Modifier. Let's check. Um, we are ten years ahead of time. Actually, we are going to invest. Silly me. Obviously, we're going to invest. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yay, won the Siege of Riga. To live land. And we've won the Siege of Semolina Pudding. Or whatever it's called, I can't remember. Uh, Calabar. Great Britain gets... Ooh. So we have a dispute on Great Britain. That's kind of nice. Now, the issue is we don't actually have anything to call against Britain. So we need to figure out a way to get to war against one of its uh, neighbouring provinces. Whoop. Uh, recall Diplomat. We've won the Siege of Livland. Excellent. Let's check. So, you're allied with Castile. No, you attack against Castile in the th third Connacht Reconquest of... Are they doing it again? Yeah, they are. <sighs> Lord of Wales out of France. I need a way to get these guys going, and now you're allied with France, I have to declare on France, but unfortunately my truce is with France for quite a while, like another 10 years, so... That'll all change in that time, we need to figure out what to do. But I think it's just going to involve waiting, probably, which is kind of crappy. Kind of a boring solution, we'll wait. Especially when we've got a limited time till the end of the game now. It's exactly 70 years away, well not exactly, but pretty close. And let's just fast forward, can't get these promises out. Get your provinces out, love. We have an heir to the throne. We're not going to be a personal union anymore. Yay! You dirty 40... You dirty 41-year-old. Good man. We needed that heir. Okay, so if we just keep fast-forwarding five times, we'll hopefully crack... There we go. Door pat. And bam, hundred percent. Pause. Ah, too great. We are indeed too great. We could do that. The grace expansion is crazy. Crazy levels of grace expansion. Let's check what is it. Lithuania, Sweden. I can live with that, actually. Lithuania, Riga. Riga doesn't matter. Lithuania would be like they're instantly going to coalition us. Sweden, probably going to coalition us. 
Austria and Denmark will be pissed, but Austria hates us anyway. Denmark doesn't really like us. Everyone else important will be a minus 12, and Wales will be a minus 6. Yeah. I can dig that. Promise we don't have the actual admin points to core any of that. I think we have to leave some of it. And I really dislike doing that. Shame we can't get the vassal. I really thought we could. Um, yeah, we'll go... Give that to Russia. In fact, don't even give that to Russia. We'll just leave them with free promises, right? We'll declare on them as soon as we can, but we'll also see if we can take... Okay, not much money. Only 500 ducats, but it'll do. You know, back in the beginning of the game, 500 ducats would be like crazy levels of money. Be like, whoa, 500 ducats, dude? Whoa. Unfortunately, now 500 ducats is kind of, you know, very little. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for it. What does that 24 translate to? People that matter are eights. Okay. Okay, let's check the German the German vassal tab. A hundred percent would get us the rest as their vassal. Okay, I'm actually gonna go for that because then we can war against them in however many years it's gonna be. Fine. They're all Catholic, and if we check, the truce timer with them will be Riga. Ten years. Bang on. Right, okay, I'm cool with that. So, uh, what do we do? We need to core. I don't know why the war music's still playing. It's like, dude, we finished the war. Did you not hear? It went kind of well for us. Well, it was always going to go kind of well for us. We're awesome. Point still stands. Uh, you had a fight, so you need to heal up. Get our four extra heavies. Move them over there. Mertrex is from Castile. Are you still fighting that silly war? Yeah, no decline. Bugger off. Flanders. We'll offer you an alliance. Perfect. And then we'll offer you a royal marriage. <laughs> We've got the cleansing heresy, Casbell against Russia. Oh, that's going to impact our relations with them. That's going to be annoying. And then be my vassal. Be my vassal. Be my vassal. Boop. I'll call that. Russia, how's our relations doing? Not as great as I'd like. So let us get a bit of an improved relations going with you. How many diplomats do I have? They're just the three. Okay. Gain legitimacy, local revolt risk increases, or... Okay. So, new religion spreads. This thing involving kicking some kind of ball. I want the legitimacy. Kind of need it. Power projection is good. Now I'm thinking something like uh, a fleet-borne invasion of... Sweden might be kind of tasty. It might be kind of cool to do as well, but we need the admin points to core something like that. Ha! Huh. They're having Norwegian Patriots. Lol. Let's just fabricate a claim against them. Or do we have a declare, declare war? No, we don't. <gasps> and they're allied with Great Britain. That's not much use to us. Sadly. Uh, we'll fabricate a claim anyway. There is a reason not to. Um, because extra base tax, that's nice. Because you can get aggressive expansion just from fabricating. Uh, we'll go for Smarland. Now I really need to see if one of these can actually be grabbed still. They're still, unfortunately, sitting on the fence. Allied with France, it's fine, but... Like, if Wales would ally with Great Britain as soon as that happens, we're in. Technology. Go Diplo. 
so far behind in Diplo, it's kind of unreal. Um, heavy Frigate. And yep, there we go, there's the aggressive expansion against Sweden. And how long till I can start integrating all these? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Annex Vassal. Oh, we can do it already! Okay, sweet. Sweet River of Chocolate, importing Cocoa, or we gain Mercantilism. Um, I want the decrease in National Revolt risk, actually. We just kind of simplify it, so the National Revolts are just uh, limited to a, a lot less provinces. Great Britain is going to attack Denmark. I'm assuming it's for this. Currently occupied by peasants. Good to see. We gain navy tradition. That's nice. I always like some hardy seamen in the morning. So how many diplo points will we need overall? Well, we need to improve our relations for start. Uh, you're fine in Flanders. Come back. Later this year, okay, and you were already... Get some manpower, that's kind of nice. And we need to boost you, so I think improve relations on you as well. Uh, I need to take someone away. There we go, we've got the Casabelle there. So let's improve our relations here. Now, Munster's going to be annoying because they are very much low on us. Um, and it's going to run the Holy Roman Empire. So yeah, I want to kind of do all of them at the same time. Because otherwise they're going to take that... Uh, oh god, you're done. Ugh. How do I improve you from here? Could give you money. I guess if we just wait a year, we should be able to do... Uh, no, we won't be able to do it in a year. We need another couple of years on top of that. That's annoying. Oh, trade coming up set. Uh, local revolt risk and local trade power massively decrease or support the governor. France's opinion. Support the governor. Screw France. We can invest in an idea. Yeah, I actually need those points, though. We actually want to go up another tech level. Getting an extra idea group might be nice, so going up a few more tech levels will be uh, pretty sweet. France is still trying to get back on their feet. Being pretty heavily killed off by Castile again. I don't think France is really going to have a chance to roll out of this one. Let's just check the vassalization options. No. Ottomans declare war on Austria. And... nope. And, oh! <gasps> they would accept vassalization! Improve all the relations. Operation go, 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 go. Okay, I think the end of this series will be when we have a toehold in Great Britain. And I don't just mean we've annexed Wales. I mean we actually, you know, take something in in Britain proper. By, you know, force. Admin. Yep, that's cool. Yes, you may have access. I'm going to do all the other things as well when I get some more diplomats. I actually kind of need diplomats. Do we actually have... Hmm... Yeah, we do have, like, all the other things, so... I kind of wish I had more diplomats. I was just playing a game offline in which I had, like, five diplomats, and it was particularly useful for, you know, moments like this when you're like, I need to be doing all the things! We could become Defender of the Faith! Extra tech cost, but... Yeah, screw it. Sweet, and now we can convert. So, send all the missionaries. Send all the missionaries. Uh, Colin's not doing anything, but screw that. Um, England. Tell me about your navy. Oh, Great Britain, in fact. Sorry, you became Great Britain, didn't you? A long time ago. I should probably remember that. Yeah. We're going to need to be in Wales with our troops when this kicks off. In ten years' time, I know. I'm planning ahead. Recall Diplo. Excellent. Now, if we're recalling our Diplo, we can take advantage of this. So, we offer Alliance. We take the Royal Marriage Offer. Then we can start doing other cool and interesting things, like... Where is Guarantee? Oh, no. We offer the Military Access. Then we proclaim Guarantee. There we go. 
So let's go. And a four times is fine. Ready? Game guarantee. I believe that's all of them. Yeah, we just need to maybe give a gift or whatever. I've got so much money, I really don't care. Like, I could be spending the money on uh, buildings at this stage, but screw it. Let's go all the way to 75 just to get that 25 bonus. And then, in a, a, just a mere couple of months, we'll be able to take them. So, here we go. Boom. That's really important to us. And in 10 years' time, so in 1766, we'll be declaring war on Britain. Well, after we get the fabrication of a claim. Manpower. Enforce serfdom or lose legitimacy. Uh, I'm going to enforce serfdom. I don't want to lose legitimacy at this stage. Not with it this low. I'm only just coming back. Um, that's all cool. I'm tempted to go to level 3 just to knock down the Gotland and Kurland uh, um, revolt risk. But, you know, screw it. There's no point. And let's convert Revel. Hmm, now let's look at the Ottomans. While we're having a little wait, we could have a look at a war against the Ottomans, just you know as a time filler, because people have been saying, you know, when I when I asked on Twitter and whatever what to do next, or well, I asked in one of the comments on one of the videos, there was, you know, a few comments and so on. I like the idea of going for Britain, but also the Ottomans were another solution to our uh, quandaries about waiting. They do have less troops than us. And their manpower is pretty depleted, which means we'll be going on them pretty damn soon. And I think we can just use our... Yep, show superiority. They're allied with Corassa. Are you Corassa? No, you're a wasteland. Oh, no? Yeah, you are a wasteland. Oh, Corassan. There we go. Sounds almost like Japanese. Oh, Corassan. Right, let's move everyone up to the front. I don't know why I'm doing that, but, you know, screw it. Because this will be a new destination. The destination will be amazing. There will be much war. And we will win. Also, Austria is looking particularly squished. Someone we could definitely take out next time around. The thing is the Ottomans. Ah, oh, they're still defending against the Ottomans. Interesting. These two units without generals. I believe we're going to basically sweep the wave of our main units. And then use them to carpet siege. I could go quantity. Or, well, we're a fair few years away, we can do it. Building power cost. I don't actually know what they mean by building power cost, but, you know, we can get land attrition and force modifier, so we're going to move towards that. Just one more, and then we can have ridiculous size armies. Yeah. So, everyone into position. Declare what? Come on, Russia. Now let's move in. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe we send a couple of units that way, but mainly focus on going down towards Constantinople. You know, I kind of wish I could get Constantinople. It's got the highest tax base in the game, I believe, at 15? Yeah, 15. But, uh, you know, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Sicily. You're independent? Hi, Sicily. Do you want to be my vassal? No. Okay. Naples? No. Milan? No. Never going to happen. You guys would. Interesting. You wouldn't want to royal marriage me. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. You wouldn't be my vassal, will you? No. It's a shame. Naples are doing fairly well for a late game Naples, to be completely honest. I'm fairly surprised that Aragon still exists. But oh well. Go chase! Chase! Aha! Destroy! And obliterated. Yep, our armies really are quite good. Move to Serbia. I think you need to stay still for the moment, and... You need to move here. No leader? Really? Oh god, a leader must have died on our way in. 
That's annoying. Okay, we'll move you back out to get your leader. And then we'll uh, we'll start the attack on the Ottomans. We're already 22% the way through. I'm kind of thinking we liberate something and turn it into a vassal, maybe. It'll, uh, it'll save on the add-in points, which we kind of need. Um, ten years' time, we've got Wales. We've also got France in ten years coming up as well. And we can... Pretty soon, actually, get these guys going. So, yeah. We just need to get you to 190. You're 150 already. We are still increasing relations with you. How high can we go? We can go to 200, is it? Yeah, so basically, as soon as this war's over, we're going to instant vassalize, the, uh, instant annex these guys. We'll save the Diplo points. And then we can just go nom. Eat that. There's a load of small states here that it's possible that we could go for as well. But I'm thinking that maybe a war against uh, Austria and grabbing those guys with the same time and then, you know, getting a bunch of vassals that way might be the uh, the way to go. You don't like me. You don't like me. Switzerland's a vassal of France. Interesting. Huh. For a one promise mine, you've got a fairly sizable army there, Flanders. I'll be completely honest. I'm fairly uh, impressed. Then again, these are kind of high tax based promises. That's an 8. Galera is a 9. Utrecht's a 7. Meh. Yeah. Pretty sizable. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. So, we've got our plan for the next, you know. Uh, five to six episodes. We take the Ottomans. We, uh, I don't know what we do to them. I'm probably going to get them just to release stuff. Maybe vassalize it. Or maybe I'll take a couple of promises if I uh, fancy. I'm not sure there's anything I can release that will be the right size for me to vassalize. But we're going to try for it. We will then... Probably going to be France before Britain. Because there's a, there's a slight gap in our truces. So France. Then Britain. Try and get a bunch of stuff off the mainland. So I'll be saving up points to call that. And uh, that should put us only about 50 years off the end date. So it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, Russia, you're still fairly impressive. By the way, someone pointed out, you know I always talk about the font size and that's determining how awesome a country is? Someone did point out that Germany has more letters than France. Well, one more letter than France. So, you know, that's kind of fair. Maybe, you know, we're just losing out the font size because we have more letters. Like, we have more letters than you, France. Na 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 na. I've been into listening. If you like the episode, please like it. If you're not subscribed, please leave the. Ha. Words. Fail me. Right, I need more tea. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I've been into listening, and as usual, stay shiny.